Hello, hello, welcome back, welcome back, guys. Uh, today we are going to discuss about the job and about your interview because uh, yesterday we discussed about the job, mostly the job about the bouncer and the security guard. I uh, I was give you the uh, one of the company who uh, who's just hiring now the security guard and also CCTV operator in Dubai. The one of the most uh, bigger company, the international company, the Group Four. So I was give you the advice to go uh, by yourself. The the accommodation, they have the accommodation al Kuz area, and also they have the head office. You have to go and drop your CV by yourself, and don't make your CV bigger. If you have the some experience in your field, and if you have a good education, then you just put it. Don't make the bigger CV because right now no one looking your like the. Two and three page CV because you are just uh, uh, looking the security guard job, not the security manager, not the security operation manager. You are the security guard, so you are uh, going to look the security guard job. That means you have to just put your the education or your experience. No need to mention many things and just put the those things which one you uh, uh, really have it. So don't put anything wrong because uh, in your interview, if someone asks you the question, so if you don't have knowledge, so he will reject you the same moment, and uh, he will uh, cancel your interview. So try to put the genuine information which one you really have it, because the mostly people who who are just taking your interview, they're just uh, looking your CV first, and they uh, then they are calling you for interview. And during interview time, they also uh, do have your CV front of them, and they're looking uh, your CV and they're asking you question. So please don't do anything wrong. Which one you didn't have, like your experience, your like your education, uh, like anything. Which one the mostly people just going to Google and copy paste from the, there and put it our CV because they want to make our CV very bigger, like through uh, two and three pages. So this is not good, guys. I did uh, have the many experience about this job. I did hire the some people. Uh, they have the two, three pages CV. So you have to just understand which kind of you are looking a job. That is very, very meaningful for you. If you have the job like the operation supervisor, uh, whether like a technician uh, supervisor, like. A, Manager like a CCTV engineer, so then it's okay. You can make your CV like two page, but the security guard job, I think, it's not good for you to make the longer CV and put the many thing in your, on your CV. So that that's not perfect. So put your genuine information, which one you really have it, like your education. I told you my last two videos. If you do have the education like master, like uh, BA, like graduation, so don't share them. You do have the uh, like uh, education like master, like uh, MA. So if someone uh, really know, if someone uh, really want to uh, grow his company business, so no one will hire you because the issue is the security guard job require the like the. Uh, basic uh, only in, uh, uh, education like medium like 10 class 12 class only because those people have like the education 10 to 12 class they are doing the most of the hard work because they don't uh, they, they don't have the uh, big education like uh, uh, graduation like masters so they are doing hard because they they, they think they are fitting this job but the, the those people they have the good education like higher education so they always thinking that job is not ma match with the edu with the education like the, with their personality so and then if someone take your interview what they are asking you mostly they asking you your experience your education and mostly they ask asking you the question like what you do for them if they will hire you? What you do the something better? 
and they are also asking you what you did in line your company and it happened which one you solved the issue and company did uh, appreciate you give you some of the good letter like uh, you increase your post increase your salary something you have to give them your the good story but don't be lie and don't be uh, do anything uh, like uh, anything extra give the genuine information and because the mostly people who the taking your interview they looking your body language your eyes your face and your hand what you are what you giving them the answer if they are satisfied your answer they will hire you if they think you are lie so they will directly uh, just give you okay go back and we will let you know as soon as possible this means they will not uh, call you back and uh, then uh, uh, if you uh, get past the interview like uh, some they uh, some when they will ask you some question after that if they think you are match for them do uh, you are good for them they want you then they will ask you your document like your passport copy like your uh, uh, visa copy like your uh, passport size picture and like your uh, Uh, education uh, document because uh, if they want uh, they give you the good uh, position then they will uh, uh, demand your education but the basic only they need your uh, national id card copy your uh, picture passport size and your passport copy your visa copy that's enough for the visa procedure and uh, if you are going to give the interview for the uh, security bouncer like event security like night club bouncer then then they will ask uh, also uh, check your weight your height and they will they ask you a question about the bouncer job about the event job uh, because they need some people uh, who they really have the experience the mostly people if they work on the own country like bus personal bodyguard like security guard they uh, they good for them them they will hire directly if they have good body but some people they are, they are asking me the question they don't uh, they do not have the good big body like they do not have a, a big muscle and uh, how they can able to get this job uh, this job like bouncer so i did uh, share with them my experience about uh, the bouncer job about the uh, bouncer interview guys uh, if you do not have the big body like you don't uh, you are you are not tall guy so you have to do exercise go to a gym make your body make your little muscle because your personality if uh, if you have the good personality your personality is just uh just telling to uh, the person you are the fit for the bouncer job it doesn't matter i uh, give you the many example i told you i do have my the uh many guy my many colleagues they are not tall they are fi- uh, five feet something but they are doing bouncer job they are doing bodyguard job and one of the guy he's from lebanon he is the operation supervisor uh, operation manager and he is 5 feet 5 inch i think some like maybe 7 inch maybe 5 to 5 inch. but he is the operation manager the issue is he have good muscle he if it uh, make his body very well so try to do something best if you want to get this job if you want to make uh, some extra money if you are running like the labor job if you are running like the security guard job like driver i think that's not good for you that's not your future make your future bright do something struggle for you and for your family and try to do something best i will share some picture uh, with you guy uh, about the bouncer job what uh, kind of uh, uh trouble you can uh, you can face in your job because bouncer job is different security guard job is different and the also the cctv job is different to so try to understand don't think you did the security guard job and you are very fit for the also bouncer job no you need experience you need to understand uh, the bouncer uh, always uh, uh, always facing the fight they facing the trouble they facing the uh, drunk people 
they have lot of risk, uh, risks in the, their job so that is job is very dangerous but the yeah, the good news for you guys there is also good money they also uh, good uh, uh, good your uh, for future you can uh, able to make the lot of money you are uh, can able to make your good future and you can able to make the relationship with the people like high profile people uh, who who are just uh, coming to the club and for uh, for fun for enjoyment so this good for you i give you the uh, my advice to take your own visa uh, from somewhere like the freelancer visa and do the job as a security bouncer as a a uh, nightclub bouncer as a personal bodyguard because it, this is not uh, your future you are taking little money from security guard job and you're doing job like 12 to 14 hour i think this is not your future so try to do something best do your hard job do something right now because you are young now when you get older so you're not able to fight for your future to so do something don't uh, think you uh, you need some hard job you need some money you need some uh, help from someone so ask anyone so don't be shy ask anyone someone will be help you someone will be will be guide you for the this job if you want to training if you want to education if you want uh, some uh, information this channel is good for you and you able to contact with us we will love to give you the answer as soon as possible so if uh, i did not respond to anyone i'm so sorry guys because many people uh, give me the uh, question they are giving me the comments so sometimes busy sometimes i am free so i i'm i'm doing my best to give you the answer as soon as possible if i did not so i'm so sorry guys but i will check again and again okay so next video we will discuss about the you know, the practical job uh, like field job like uh, when you going to uh, do job like events and bouncer what is your uh, actually job so try to make your body fit and go to gym and do something hard job on your body maintain your document if you do not have a diploma if you do not have a experience letter go online you can do it education online uh, sit at your home and do it but fight for yourself fight for yourself until you know you get your point your future your uh, position which one you really want what is your dream so get dream and do fight okay guys take care of yourself and take care of your own people if uh, i did uh, miss something so ask me i will uh, try to give you the answer answer the other video so guys aaj ka jo topic tha wo tha night club bouncer ke bare mein aur jo security guard ki job uske bare mein मैंने अपनी लास्ट वीडियो में कुछ आपके से सा, साथ शेयर किया था सिक्योरिटी गार्ड की जॉब का और आपको ये भी बताया था मैंने कि आप किस तरह कौन कौन सी कंपनी में जाके इंटरव्यू दे सकते हो और कौन कौन सी कंपनी अपनी जो है वो सिक्योरिटी गार्ड और बाउंसर हायर कर रहे हैं किन किन के पास काम है तो मैंने आपको लास्ट वीडियो में बताया था जंतूर कंपनी के पास बहुत ज्यादा काम है और ग्रुप फोर कंपनी जो सिक्योरिटी गार्ड कंपनी है वो भी हायर करे तो आप उनके ऑफिस में जाके अपनी सीवी ड्राफ्ट करो वो आपको जॉब के लिए लाजम बुलाएंगे वो प्रेफर कर रहे हैं जिन लोगों के पास सीरा है जिनके पास लाइसेंस है लेकिन वो फ्रेश लोगों को भी हायर करें मोस्टली जो लोग अभी विजिट वीजे पे हैं लेकिन वो प्रेफर करते हैं जिनके पास सिक्योरिटी लाइसेंस है तो आप लोगों को जंतूर में भी जाना चाहिए और आप लोगों को ग्रुप फोर सिक्योरिटी कंपनी में भी जाना चाहिए ताकि आपकी हेल्प हो सके आपको जॉब मिल सके अगर आपको कोई इस तरह का इशू है क्योंकि अभी वी आई पी सिक्योरिटी कंपनी भी काम कर रही है तो आपको पता ही है वो वो भी बड़ी आ, बड़ी कंपनी है अच्छी कंपनी है उनके पास भी काम आता रहता है लेकिन जंतूर के पास ज़्यादा काम है अभी आपको जंतूर के पास जाना चाहिए उसके बाद प्राइम के पास जाना चाहिए हाँ थोड़ी सी प्राइस अभी वो कम दे रहे हैं लेकिन आ, जैसे जैसे काम बढ़ेगा जैसे जैसे मार्केट में काम ज्यादा आएगा तो आपकोर्स आपकी वो प्राइस भी बढ़ाएंगे उनके पास नाइट क्लब भी हैं उनके पास इवेंट्स भी हैं 
और उनके पास सिक्योरिटी गार्ड की जो है वो भी रिक्वायरमेंट आती रहती है तो आपको इन दोनों कंपनी में जाके चेक करना चाहिए और अगर आपको इंटरव्यू में कोई इशू है तो आप हमारा चैनल को विजिट कर सकते हो हमने लॉट ऑफ ट्रेनिंग आपको दी हुई है चाहे आपको एजुकेशन चाहिए ट्रेनिंग सिरा के बारे में चाहे आपको एजुकेशन चाहिए बोंसर के बारे में फीस का डॉक्यूमेंट का एवरीथिंग हमने शेयर किया हुआ है आप जाके हमारे चैनल को विजिट करके इससे ट्रेनिंग भी ले सकते हो डजेंट मैटर यू विच कंट्री यू बिलोंग यू बिलोंग इंडिया यू बिलोंग टू पाकिस्तान अफगानिस्तान नेपाल बांग्लादेश अफ्रीका डजेंट मैटर दे आर नॉट लुकिंग योर फेस दे आर नॉट लुकिंग योर कंट्री दे नीड वर्क If you fit for them, if they are you good for them, they will hire you. They will give you opportunity uh, to do something best for you, and they will ask you very first question. Uh, the most of the people are asking when they are doing uh, are doing an interview. So, what you will do for that company who is hiring you? So, just prepare your mind. What you do for them? That's very important question. Everyone asking, and also the second question. what you did in your uh, in your last company and even you do uh, doing job uh, any company so any give any happen which one you solve any good story so if you did anything just share with them that is very important and other your thing you're looking your edu- they're looking your education they're looking your uh, एक्सपीरियंस uh, आपकी वो एजुकेशन देखेंगे आपका एक्सपीरियंस देखेंगे आपसे वो सवाल पूछेंगे आपने कोई मसला सॉल्व किया वो अपनी जॉब के ऊपर कोई आपका इस तरह का इशू कोई अच्छी स्टोरी कोई आपने इस तरह का मसला जो सॉल्व किया और आपकी आपकी कंपनी ने आपको इसके बारे में अप्रिशिएट किया हो और आपको वो उन्होंने आपकी सैलरी बढ़ाई हो या आपकी पोस्ट बढ़ाई हो या वैसे ही कुछ आपको अप्रिशिएट किया हो तो आप उस तरह की स्टोरी उनके साथ लालम शेयर करना कि इससे बंदा आगे वाला जो है वो ज्यादा मुतमिन होता है कि इस बंदे ने इस हार्ड टाइम में इस मुश्किल टाइम में इस तरह अच्छा काम किया और अपनी कंपनी को सपोर्ट किया तो फिर ये इशू आता क्वेश्चन आता है कि आप क्यों कंपनी छोड़ रहे हो तो आपके पास बहुत ज्यादा आंसर होते हैं कि कंपनी छोटी है जिसमें काम कर रहा हूँ मैं चाहता हूँ बड़ी कंपनी में बड़े अदारे बड़े डिपार्टमेंट के साथ काम करूँ और दूसरा भी ये भी आता है कि मेरी पोजीशन नहीं बढ़ रही या इस तरह का इशू है या कंपनी के पास काम नहीं है या कंपनी बंद हो रही है तो आप कोई भी जो जन्म ने आपके जो रीजन है आप उसके साथ शेयर कर सकते हो देखकर झूठ नहीं बोलना क्योंकि अभी ऑनलाइन सिस्टम है तो हर बंदा चेक कर लेता है जो इंटरव्यू लेने वाला बंदा होता है वो पागल नहीं होता वो हर चीज समझता होता है तो आपने उनके साथ जन्म जो इन्फॉर्मेशन है वो शेयर करनी है तो अगर आपका जो इंटरव्यू पास हो जाता है उसके बाद आपके डॉक्यूमेंट मांगेंगे आपका पासपोर्ट कापी आपका वीजा कापी आपका जो नेशनल आईडी कार्ड है आपकी कंट्री का और आपकी पासपोर्ट साइज पिक्चर जो है वाइट बैकग्राउंड में वो मांगेंगे और उसके बाद आपकी सिलेक्शन हो जाएगी चाहे आपको वीजा वाफर करें चाहे वो आपको काम दें बोंसर में ये होता है कि आपकी हाइट आपका वेट वगैरह चेक करते हैं और आपको एक्सपीरियंस पहुँचते हैं और सिक्योरिटी गार्ड में आपका हाइट वेट चेक नहीं किया जाता क्योंकि सिरा जब आपको पास कर देता है तो फिर उसके बाद ये चीजें पीछे रह जाती हैं तो उसमें फिर आपका ये इशू नहीं आता तो सीसीटीवी में भी आपको भी इस तरह के क्वेश्चन आएंगे कि आपने पहले क्या किया आपकी कंपनी में और मारेडी कंपनी के लिए आप क्या कर सकते हो तो इस तरह का कुछ आता है समटाइम ये भी होता है कि आपकी पर्सनैलिटी अच्छी है आपको वो देख के ही वो सेलेक्ट कर लेते हैं आपके वो इंटरव्यू होते नहीं है मोस्टली जब बोंसर वगैरह होते हैं तो समटाइम आपका इशू बनता है तो यही था आज का टेक केयर योर सेल्फ टेक केयर योर योर पीपल इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन लेट जस्ट लेट मी नो आई विल लव टू गिव यू आंसर एज सुन एज पॉसिबल कोई भी क्वेश्चन हो कोई भी सवाल हो तो आपने लाजम पूछना है और घंटी के बटन को लाजम दबाना अगर नए चैनल पे हो चैनल को सब्सक्राइब भी कर लो सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम नेक्स्ट वीडियो बाय बाय